notice of public meeting of the City Commission of the City of Brownsville. Thank you. Pursuant to Chapter 551, Title 5 of the Texas Government Code, the Texas Open Meetings Act notice is hereby given that the City Commission of the City of Brownsville, Texas, in accordance with Article 5, Section 12 of the Charter of said city, will convene a regular meeting on Tuesday, June the 6th, 2006, at 6 p.m. in the Commission Chambers on the second floor of the Brownsville City Hall, Federal Building located at 1001 East Elizabeth Street, Brownsville, Cameron County, Texas. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Can I have um, everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge? And may I call uh, Karen Alexandra Castillo and Vanessa Chavez to please do us the honor of doing the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and the visible liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one and the visible. All right, thank you very much. Can y'all please come up? Uh, first GSA brownies from Troop 199. Okay, can I please uh, please remain standing for the invocation? Can I ask uh, Pastor Gregory Fish to please come up? Welcome, Pastor. The Word of God says in Psalm 95, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Verse 3, 4, the Lord is a great God, the great King above all gods. In His hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to Him. The sea is His, for He made it, and His hands form the dry land. Let us pray. Our God in heaven, we know that You made the mountains and You made the valleys. You made the sea and You made the land. You made this great city of Brownsville, and you sustain it in your hands. Now, Lord, we pray for this meeting and for uh, the elected officials of this city. We pray for the mayor, mayor and we want to pray for the men and women that make up this council, that all the proceedings of this meeting would go for the benefit of the people of Brownsville, that uh, you would give and bestow wisdom to all the people who make decisions and that they would do what is always best for all the people. We want to pray especially now for the, the people that make up this great city and especially we want to pray for the children who are out on summer vacation. Lord, would you, would you keep them safe this summer? Please allow this city to continue to be a peaceful place. We pray this in Jesus' name. Por tanto, al Rey eterno, inmortal, invisible, al único Dios sea honor y gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Fisher. Uh, everyone, please be seated. <coughs> okay, proclamations. We have uh, Mrs. Felipa M. Rodriguez. Is she here? Uh, Commissioner Arroyo, he's here. I don't, I don't know. Está aquí la señora Felipa Rodriguez. Ah, okay, good. No. Oh, that's not her. No. Okay, I guess we can uh, leave that for the next meeting. <clears throat> we'll move on to presentations. Amigos del Valle, Commissioner Camarillo. Mayor, Commissioners, uh, as you know, I sit on the Amigos del Valle board. I just want to give a uh, short presentation over some of the things that have occurred over the past year. Uh, first and foremost, uh, it's been a year now since I've been with the board. Uh, we meet once a month. We've met in Westicle, Harlingen, and McAllen, and soon later this month in Bronzo. The committee has representatives from Cameron and Hidalgo counties. Over the past year, this committee has had to make uh, some major changes in order to positively impact the residents of Amigos del Valle. 
we have been in a financial struggle for some time now, which has caused this board to take swift action and correct our budget fallouts. Uh, Mayor Quintanilla Mercedes presides over the board and has allowed this group to speak its mind on correcting the problems Amigos del Valle faces. Since then, some of the more drastic changes that have occurred uh, is the appointment of a new director named Mr. Jaime Garza. He is serving as an interim director until a new one is named by the board. I will say that I am impressed with Mr. Garza because he, he has put uh, words into action in a short amount of time. Most importantly, though, he has taken the time to visit with the residents across the valley, which is essential. Last week, uh, he and I met with the residents at uh, Casa de Mar Number 1 to discuss an expansion to their facility. A partnership would be made between Casa de Mar Number 1 and Amigos. Uh, it was great to inform the residents that the city hears their concerns, and we're working to make this a reality through uh, the CDBG funds that have already been appropriated. This project will happen on my watch, and I'm thankful for the board's support, but also the city uh, as it addresses this issue. We also have a new chief financial officer uh, who now provides us with documentation regarding financial reports on a monthly basis. You see, there, you see, before there were no statements presented to the board, it was just dialogue. Times have changed, and for the better. We also have our auditors and attorney present at meetings to ensure that legal to ensure that we are legal and that we are moving in the right direction with the business of the board. We're considering outsourcing transportation in the future as it is consuming quite a bit of our budget. We're also <coughs> going to do what Amigos del Valle knows best and run in a, a more efficient kitchen as provide meals to our residents across the valley. Because of issues raised by our residents, our staff has also been directed to evaluate and monitor the amount of starches that are served to our residents. They are also asked to keep food in its proper temperature and finally begin to follow state law which requires commercial refrigerators and ice machines to be purchased when cooking food uh, for many people. Our, re our residents are important to us and we will ensure that they get the best that we can provide them. I look forward to working with the board and look forward to continue working with the board on, its impl on implementing and sustaining a better operations for our residents. And this concludes my presentation, Mayor. Commissioner Camarillo, thank you very much for the presentation, not only to this commission, but to the citizens of Brownsville. <clears throat> uh, employee of the Month, Mr. Kabler. Uh, Mayor, Pro Mayor uh, Pro Tem and uh, members of the commission, please help me uh, welcome our Employee of the Month for uh, June, Mr. Car Carmen Muniz. He's been with the city for 21 years, and uh, he'll be celebrating his 80th birthday in two weeks. All right, congratulations. Obviously, he's an example to, and an inspiration to all of us. Uh, he works under the direction of Robert Esparza at our traffic department. Uh, he is uh, a loyal employee, a dedicated employee, reports to work every day. He, he handles a variety of uh, responsibilities, including uh, repairing some of our uh, traffic meters, et cetera. And, uh, <coughs> We thought that we uh, <coughs> recognize him for his longevity on earth and his employment with the city by uh, giving him the employee of the month for June. Of course, he's eligible for employee of the year at, the, at our banquet in December. And he gets a traditional cap, our pin, and uh, a plaque. Muchas felicidades, Mr. Muniz. Congratulations. Y lo vamos a celebrar en 20 años más. En 20 años más, sí. <laughs> si quiere decir unas palabras o... Le doy muchas gracias al director del Departamento de Trabajo y al pueblo de Brangel por estar todavía hasta este momento, si me han aguantado 21 años. Gracias. Muchas gracias a ustedes por todo su servicio. Esparza, Commissioner Mayor. <coughs> Uh, Mr. Muniz has been with us for, when I first met him was 21 years ago, and uh, when I first saw him, I said, well, I don't know, I'll give you a try, but hey, I did the right choice, and he was good for the city. He's a very dedicated worker. He's 80 years old. It's hard to believe that, but, you know, he is up there, but he does his work like he was very young still. So we're blessed to have him. Yes, we are, and he's done very well for the city of Brownsville, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stella, consent agenda. Item number three, consent agenda items A through C. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Commissioner Hernandez and a second by Commis uh, Commissioner Longoria. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Item four, boards Aye. and commission appointments. Item number four, consideration and action to appoint one member to the Graffiti Advisory Committee. Commissioner Camarillo. I believe we were, uh, now that uh, Commissioner Atkinson has been elected, uh, we were waiting, we need his appointment to the okay. board, to the committee. Commissioner Atkinson, you have an appointment? Yes, I do. Um, looking long and hard, and I found a guy who I think is going to do a great <coughs> job. If you can stand up real quick, his name is Santiago Jimmy Manrique. He's a, a investigator choice. for Brownsville Police Department. He's done wonderful things during his career as a police officer. I'm going to mention a few things. He's been in, actually he's a, a sergeant right now with the, with the Brownsville PD. Uh, he's been involved with kids sports. He's uh, done some. He's been on some boards, Cameron County Child Advocacy Centers, mm. Monica and Maggie's house. He's a part of CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocate. Uh, FOW, which is the Friendship of Women, Family Violence Task Force, Health Care Committee. And he's pending an appointment to the Brownsville Mr. Amigo Association. Um, he's concerned about our city. He wants what's best for our city. And uh, when I talked to him, he was more than willing to step up and offer Brownsville a different, different way of thinking. Uh, if you want to say a couple words, you're more than welcome to come up. Mm. I guess that's a perfect example that we don't have to always look uh, outside. We exactly. can find someone within. Exactly. I think it's an excellent choice. I appreciate choice. the consideration, uh, <clears throat> Commissioner Atkinson and the commission. Uh, I, I welcome the opportunity to serve and expand my horizon, not just as a police officer, but as a, as a member of the, of the community. I've been here for 15 years now, and I don't see uh, myself leaving anywhere else. Um, I, I love this community. I do my best within the police department to help as many people as I can. I think uh, we're opening the door here to a problem that has been longstanding in the city. But we, and like I told Commissioner Atkinson, actions are better than words, and this is a first Absolutely. step. This is a, a great step for our city to uh, start to eradicate graffiti and on the walls. I believe we already have some people that are doing that. Skip Keller has done a wonderful job in, in getting rid of uh, graffiti in the parks, mm -hmm. and I think we need to expand that to some of our buildings in the city. Thank okay. you. We have Thank a motion you. by Commissioner Atkinson. Second. And second by Commissioner Longoria. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All against? Okay, motion carries. We'll get you some more work. <laughs> All right. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Item five, consideration and action to appoint two members to the Transit Advisory Committee. Um, Ms. Zamora, or filling in? Uh, good evening. My name is Rodney Gomez. I'm the assistant director of BUS. Uh, Norma couldn't be here, and she sends her regrets. Uh, we have two vacancies in the Transit Advisory Committee, which I believe were going to be filled by Commissioner Longoria and Atkinson, if they're available. Do you have uh, any appointments, Commissioners? Yes, I have Mr. Julian Lopez. Julian Lopez. I'll get you the information to your office. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Atkinson? Oh, well. Can, Jim, can we do both? Uh, there he is. Can we appoint them both? <laughs> Mr. Julian Lopez. Or does that have to be individually? I think the appointments can be done at the same time. It's just a, as long as you just uh, motion uh, for them both separately, then you can vote on it at the same time. Okay. Julian Lopez is Commissioner Longoria's appointee, and Mr. Commissioner Atkinson. I got one, but I forgot her last name. <laughs> so you want to get back with her? Uh, Viola. Y'all yep, might know her. Um, <laughs> Chief of Police. I don't know if you I mean he's not here, right? What's her last name? I got her resume and everything, man. I I thought she, it have it here, but it doesn't have it here. I don't I know if we can it put it on record without a. What's her last name? Well, we can. Uh, Call her Viola X for tonight. Yeah, <laughs> Viola. If, if she she it, works for no. BSD. She's worked for. Our B we'll be if happy get, to have her. Commissioner, yeah. if, you give me her Jim? if you get me her last name, I will go ahead and include it in the minutes. Okay, okay. then we have a motion for. your last name as soon as we, we get We have a motion on. for Julian Lopez by Commissioner Longoria and Viola X by Commissioner Atkinson. A second. Uh, uh, second by Commissioner Camarillo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you, Commissioners. Public hearings. Stella? Uh, one more. Consideration. Oh, I'm sorry. We got yeah. Item more. number six: consideration and action Jumping to appoint or reappoint eight members to the Heritage Council. <coughs> Mr. Goodman, gentlemen. Good evening, Commissioner. A fantastic duel. 
Well, good evening. Uh, uh, for the record, my name is Joe Gavito. I'm the heritage Gavito. officer for the city of Brownsville. Uh, the reason we're here, and uh, maybe for the for the, the new commissioner that's on board, that I'm going to repeat uh, some of the sure. uh, of the uh, process that we go through to nominate the heritage council. And uh, by uh, ordinance, uh, we have an architect and an alternate, and an archit architectural historian and his alternate, a planner and the alternate. And a banker and alternate that have uh, their terms have expired, and um, we've uh, contacted all of them, and they're willing to re reserve. They want to get reappointed. Be appointed. So, uh, well, I'd like to make the motion to Second. for them to reserve. There we get a, we have a motion by Commissioner Camarillo to reappoint all eight members. All eight. And uh, second by Commissioner Hernandez. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioners. And provide Estella with a copy of the list of the roster so she can attach that to the minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can do public hearings. Uh, item public, seven. Public hearings. Item number seven. <laughs> public hearing and action on first reading of ordinance number 2006-933-LL, amending the civil service classification plan as stated on ordinance 933-KK. Chief, good evening. Good evening, sir. Chief Pettis. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem, Commissioners, I'm here before you to try to increase the number of uh, firefighters from 98 to 101. This will address the Kelly, uh, the Kelly days for uh, EMS uh, certification. It'll be a savings for next year's, uh, it'll be a trade off for next year's budget, basically. So, in addition, we'll be able to cut our overtime. Increase the manpower by three positions. Are the, uh, has the city manager concur on this? Uh, the city manager and Pete have concurred on it. So moved. Second. Yep. We have a motion to approve by Commissioner Hernandez, Close. second by Commissioner uh, Arroyo, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Chief. Hold Thank you, John. Second. You didn't close? No, oh, I'm sorry. Longoria, and then who, who is going to second on the uh, hearing? And okay, we have a motion to close other? by Commissioner Camarillo. Longoria. And I second it. And a second by Commissioner Camarillo. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, motion carries. Now for action item, we had a motion to approve by Commissioner Hernandez and a second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank the you. motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner. Item number eight, public hearing and action on first reading of ordinance number 206-2006-1200.133, Sladek property southwest of US-281, annexing certain territory to the city of Brownsville, Cameron County, Texas, and extending the boundary limits of said city so as to include such property within said city limits and granting to all inhabitants of such property all the rights and privileges of other citizens and binding said inhabitants by all the acts, ordinances, resolutions, and regulations of said city. Okay. Um, um, ben, pro tem, can we items 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, are those related? Yes, they are, and I was requested. If the city so city we can read them to the record at one time? Read the call, and then what I'll do is I'll go over each map so okay. you'll know uh, what we're talking about. All right. Item number nine, public hearing and action on first reading of ordinance number 235-2006-023 to rezone from Z area district to F area district classification with, an, with a 033 non-apartment and a 051 tourist corridor overlay district, 72.34 acres more or less out of 200.34 acre tract known as the Santander town site of Barrera Gardens <coughs> tract in share one of Espiritu Santo grant near US 281 and FM 1421. Item number 10, public hearing and action on first reading of ordinance number 235-2006-024 to rezone from dwelling Z classification to general retail F classification with a 033 non-apartment and a 051 tourist corridor overlay district, 5.845 acres more or less out of 200.34 acre tract known as the Santander town site of Barreda Gardens tract in share one of Espiritu Santo grant near US 281 and FM 1421. Item number 11, public hearing and action on first reading of ordinance number 235-2006-025 to rezone from Z area district classification from F area district classification with an 033 non-apartment and an 051 tourist corridor overlay district, 59.66 acres more or less out of 200.34 acre tract known as the Santander town site of Barreda Gardens tract in share one of Espiritu Santo grant near US 281 and FM 1421. Item 12, public hearing and action on first reading of ordinance number 235-2006-026 
to rezone from dwelling Z classification to general retail F classification with an O33 non-apartment and an O51 tourist corridor overlay district, 17.176 acres more or less out of 200.34 acre tract known as the Santander town site of Barreda Gardens tract in share one of Espiritu Santo grant near US 281 and FM 1421. Thank you. Uh Mr. Medina, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, on our first public hearing, uh, Mayor, is that uh, we, um, as we had three other public hearings before to present to the public, this section of, of land here on on the on this uh, Rancho Sampatico, which is currently outside the city, this is our master plan that they would like to develop, which includes commercial areas, residential, and some park space. As you can see, this line is the city of Brownsville's uh, limits. Uh, this part is inside the city. This is not. This is a voluntary annexation <coughs> where the developer is requesting the city, and we've held, uh, we have held the proper public hearings in this chamber, uh, and tonight is our first reading of the first public hearing bringing in this property here into the city limits of Brownsville. Okay. This is a public hearing as well. So we, do we have to close each public hearing? I would close it for this one and, and render action, and then the next ones we can do each one uh, together. Want to close? close. Go ahead. Second. We have a motion to close <coughs> by Commissioner Longoria, second by Commissioner Camarillo. All in favor? Is that correct, Mr. Goza? Yeah, I don't know, Jim. Can we do it? Can we? Yes, sir. Or you can just have a public hearing for all four at the That's same time. That's what I was time. thinking. Can, no. can we do them all? Same community group. It's uh, the same. Go ahead and describe all of them. Same. Let's do it that way. Okay. Is that okay, commissioners? It's fine. Okay. So just to make it clear that we're that the public hearing is being opened for all, for all items four eight, of the nine, items. ten, eleven, and twelve. Yes, sir. All five items. Okay. Uh, let's do that. And then if we go to the second ordinance, um, zero twenty-three, and, and put the map um, for that yeah. ordinance. In this particular ordinance, we uh, are proposing to rezone from a dwelling Z uh, classification to a district F zoning uh, classification. This is a property here, um, shaded in red, and that's, this is Rancho Sampatico. Um, you have, uh, you have it really, right now, what this map is showing, it's not showing this section of land that's that's outside the city right now we can only rezone this property because it's inside the city of brownsville but um but here's uh, 1421 and this is military highway um, so this is a property where we're uh, rezoning from or proposing to be rezoned from a dwelling z classification to a dwelling f okay. and if we proceed to uh ordinance 024 In, in this particular ordinance, uh, you have the property here, and here you have the city limits line here. But uh, across the street, this US 281, 1421, uh, this corner here, and this particular corner, um, it's from dwelling Z classification to a district F uh, classification. And keep in mind that all these properties here have, have a non-apartment overlay and a tourist corridor. Non-apartment is, of course, the, 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 anybody buying a lot in this, in this subdivision cannot build a duplex, cannot build yeah. uh, apartments. And also, you have a tourist corridor, which in our zoning ordinance uh, provides for, for more control of signage, more control of landscaping. There's, there's additional requirements that have to be met. Yeah. Uh, this is an entrance to Brownsville, and the developer uh, here uh, uh, understands that. Is cognizant of that and and wants to preserve their development, so they want uh, more greenery, more control of signage, to enhance their development, and also it would be good for the city because <coughs> it's one of our entrances to the city of Brownsville. It will proceed to ordinance um, zero twenty four zero twenty five. Um, in this particular map, what we're seeing is her development or the developers. Uh, property is actually crosses 281 and is uh, along 1421 from to market road uh, 1421 and this particular piece of property again uh, we're rezoning from a dwelling Z classification which is large lots to uh, district F classification with again a non-apartment 
uh, tourist corridor overlay as well on that. And we proceed to um, the map on uh, 026. which is the front part around the lots fronting uh, 281. And this particular, here we're rezoning uh, uh, from, uh, from a dwelling Z classification to a general retail app. So she would have uh, some professional offices, some light commercial <coughs> hopefully occurring in this strip <coughs> of lots here along US 281. So those are the, 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 <coughs> the development, uh, the annexation, the proposed zoning it goes along with her proposed development that we discussed uh in the master plan approved by this commission at the last city commission meeting so okay uh, this is a public hearing for those uh, five items move to close second we have a motion to close by commissioner camarillo second by commissioner arroyo all in favor aye, aye. all opposed motion carries action item i'm going to make a motion to approve on first reading uh <coughs> ordinance number two dash 2006-933- uh, I'm sorry 2006-1200.133 235-2006-023-2425 and 26 on first reading second we have a motion to approve by commissioner Hernandez second by commissioner Arroyo all in favor aye, aye. all opposed motion carries item uh, 13 <laughs> Item 13, public hearing and action on amending the City of Brownsville October 1, 2004 to September 30, 2005 consolidated plan to include economic development activities and multifamily housing activities. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem, uh, this is a requirement by HUD that uh, we're required to amend our consolidated plan to fund uh, Project Vida that will be coming to this commission next, next uh, City Commission meeting and also some multifamily projects. Um, so there's a process that we have to go through. Okay, what, there's a public where, where are you going to pull this funding from? This is this is from the from that particular year. But existing awards will they be diminished or to fund this? No. This or is, do you have the reserves? We have uh, just recently released funds from HUD for these projects. Okay. And then the the project Vida, which is CBG funded activity, those are from from <coughs> projects that uh, money that hasn't been spent on on other on other activities. And these didn't go before the Citizens Advisory Committee? The, the, uh, the Project Vida and all of this, we have to do this first, and then we take it to, to the uh, Advisory Committee for their uh, review and funding. But, so, but if they're not in, in the plan itself, so we can't even look at them. Okay. Thank you. Okay. This is a public hearing. Would to close? Motion to close by Commissioner Longoria. Second. Second by Commissioner Hernandez. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Oh, I'm sorry, that's okay. And uh, action item? Move to approve. Second. We have a motion to approve by Commissioner Camarillo, second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Item 14. Item 14, public hearing and action to authorize Ms. Blanca Ramirez to transfer her motor cab license and taxi on a 1996 Dodge van from ABC Taxi to Red Top Taxi. Good evening, uh, Mayor Pro Tem, Commissioner. Uh, Chief Carlo was, uh, Garcia was not able to make it tonight, this evening, so. Okay, on this agenda item, Mrs. Blanca Ramirez, she filed an application to transfer her motor cap license and her taxi from ABC Taxi Company to the Red Top, Red Top Taxi Company. <coughs> um, uh, she'll be surrendering her old permit if it's, if it's approved, and then we'll be reissuing a new permit for her. Okay, there's a public hearing. We're close. Second. So moved to close by Commissioner Longoria. Second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Uh, this is action item. Move to approve. Second. Motion to approve by Commissioner Longoria. Second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Commander. <coughs> action items uh, 15, Estella. Hey, real quick, uh, Ms. Manhattan, I got the last name. Okay. Her last name's Courier. Everybody knows there's Viola. Viola Cur Courier? Courier. Thank you. Item 15, consideration and action on resolution number 2006-008-B to amend resolution number 2006-008-A for the purpose of extending the term of the Downtown Revitalization Advisory Committee for a period of 12 months from the date of this amendment. Commissioner Camarillo. I'll let uh, Mr. Uh, Golden 
Mr. Golden. Thank you, Commissioner Camadillo, uh, Honorable Mayor of Pro Town, Honorable Commission. Uh, just for the record, my name is Christopher Golden. I'm a planner with the uh, planning office. And uh, this item is to continue the uh, Downtown Revitalization Advisory Committee. Back in January, um, back in January, the resolution, the first resolution, went ahead and put it for a time period of six months. Now we're coming up on that six months uh, sometime here in June, and we've got a lot of great people working on this. We've got a lot, a lot of motivated people working on this, and a lot of stuff is happening. There's been a lot of positive changes. So we want to continue that motivation, and, and um, we've been meeting biweekly. We're going to be meeting monthly, but we want to continue this through. This resolution would extend it for another year from this point of time, uh, bringing it forward to, uh, to the following June of 2007. If this is approved. Okay, there's action item. Move to approve. Second. Uh, motion to approve by Commissioner Camarillo, second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Item 16. I think item. you guys are up again. Item 16 <clears throat> consideration and action on resolution 2006 009 B to amend nice. resolution number 2006 009 A for the purpose of extending the term of the Graffiti Advisory Committee for a period of 12 months from the date of this amendment. Commissioner Camarillo. May we basically, uh, pretty much the same thing, our six months have been have been up. There's a lot of uh, great work that's, that happened this past weekend with our uh, Graffiti Advisory Committee. We look forward to continue, continuing the work that the committee is uh, in place to do. And now with <coughs> the new appointee to the committee, uh, we'll hopefully I'll, we'll continue to enhance that. So I'd like to extend it to at least 12 more months ending the following year of June. Okay, there's action item. Like Move to, to approve. Motion to approve by Commissioner Arroyo. Second. Second by Commissioner Camarillo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations, Commissioner. Those are two excellent committees. I know you guys uh, wish you the best of luck. You guys are really going to make a change on that. Appreciate it. I got some good people. So <coughs> we're all happy people. With them. Item 17. Con item 17, consideration and action on resolution number 2006-039 to adopt the revised bylaws of the Brownsville Urban Systems Transit Advisory Committee. Once again, good evening, Honorable Commissioners and Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, the <laughs> Transit Advisory Committee voted in their April meeting to revise their bylaws slightly in the, um, the packet that you all got. Uh, we, we put in a copy of the Constitution. It was just one, uh, one little clause under Section 3 uh, regarding the, uh, the term of the Advisory Committee members. Okay, there's an action item. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion to approve by Commissioner Arroyo, seconded by Commissioner Hernandez. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Item 18. Item 18, consideration and action on resolution number 2006-040 to rename and officially designate a portion of El Jardin Heights Road to Dr. Hugh Emerson Road, with said portion being those segments of the road located inside city limits between the intersections of FM 1847 and FM 511. Mr. Kabler. <clears throat> of the Commission, uh, on March 24, 2006, uh, the Cameron County uh, Commissioner's Court passed a resolution to the Department of uh, Transportation designating uh, Elhardine Heights or uh, 3248, Highway 3248 as uh, Dr. Hugh Emerson Road. Uh, their request is that we uh, do the same for a portion of the street that's within the city, which is Three quarters of a mile west of FMA uh, 511. Yep. Okay, thank you. I'd like to make a brief comment, and uh, before I do, I'd like to recognize the Emerson family, and if they could please stand. <clears throat> you know, Dr. Hugh Emerson, he did a lot of good deeds in this community, a lot of good deeds that went unnoticed. You know, he, did, he wasn't searching for the limelight. It was, uh, he was a behind-the-scenes type of guy, but a very great man. And uh, I know, like, uh, for example, with veterans, um, he did a lot of their dentures, did a lot of uh, work. <laughs> for them and he didn't charge them at all because of for their service to this country. So <clears throat> with that said, I would like to, it would be an honor for me to make a motion to rename the street to Dr. Hugh Emerson Road. Second. And I second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations and may this uh, serve as a long life reminder to everyone of all his good deeds. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Emerson, would you like to say something? Did you want to make a comment, Mr. Emerson? <coughs> Welcome. Uh, thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, 
Bonnie. This is my baby sister, Bonnie. Uh, I'm here with... Uh, Want to state your name for the record, Mr. Uh, Emerson? Yes, <laughs> Honorable Mayor Pro Tem. My name's Hugh Emerson, Jr. I'm here with my lovely sister, Bonnie. My son, Arturito, here who snuck in. Uh, I have uh, my, uh, my dad's wife, Sylvia. Please, Sylvia, will you please stand? Sylvia Emerson. Uh, my daughter, Maria Alicia Emerson. Uh, my wife, Lolita Cisneros Emerson. My father-in-law, Sergio Cisneros, and dear family, friends, Barvin Tucker, uh, Pet Dr. Ramirez, uh, uh, Nidia, and, and uh, Sophia from the bank. And uh, my dad would have been very, very pleased, very, very uh, humbled at this gracious gesture by the city commission and by the county. And, I'm sure uh, he's watching us all. He certainly is. And uh, my, my brother, uh, Bud Forrester and Sylvia uh, Lukenbach couldn't be here, but they also want to thank you all just as much as we want to thank you all for your just lovely, gracious gesture. I'm speechless. And Bonnie, would you like to say something? And just, my father would be very, very honored. Our whole family is very grateful. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a great honor. Thank, thank you all very much. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to uh, item 19. Item 19, consideration and action to authorize the acceptance and expenditure of the Governor's Division of Emergency Management Fiscal Year 2006 Emergency Management Performance Grant awarded to the Brownsville Office of Emergency Management in the amount of $23,853. Honorable Mayor Pro Tem Commissioners, uh, this grant is, this is the sixth year that we've received this funding since I've been working here at the city. Uh, the emergency management performance grant funds are made available through the Department of Homeland Security and the Office of Domestic Preparedness and then sent down to the states and then they decide how to divide that between the eligible jurisdictions within the state of Texas. The grant this year is in the amount of $23,853 and it's basically to reimburse the emergency management office for administrative expenses. Okay, there's an action item. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion to approve by Commissioner Arroyo, second by Commissioner Camarillo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Mr. Johnson. <coughs> <clears throat> Moving on to purchases, contracts, uh, item 20. Item 20, consideration and action to authorize the City of Brownsville Aviation Department to enter into a lease agreement with Hunt Pan Am for 10,000 square feet in Airport Building 16. Mr. Airport Brown. Mayor Pro Tem, members of the Commission, this is a short-term month-to-month <coughs> lease for 10,000 square feet of building number 16, 16, which is part of the original Neoplan complex structure. The lease allows Hunt Pan Am to continue operations while hangar number 4 is in the process of being demolished and while funding is being sought to build a replacement hangar <laughs> on the two new pad sites recently completed. Former hangar number 4 is leased to Hunt Pan Am was for $11,243.40 per year. The new site is 10,000 square feet and leases at 15 cents per square foot for a total of $18,000 per year. Staff recommends approval. So move. Second. There's an action item of motion to approve by Commissioner Longoria, seconded by Commissioner Hernandez. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Item, item 21. 21. Consideration and action to authorize the City of Brownsville Aviation Department to enter into a lease agreement with Southmost Aviation for 12,000 square feet in a Airport Building 16. This is a companion lease uh, to the Hunt Pan Am lease. As you recall, this building is also, the building they're currently leasing is in the process of being demolished by action of the City Commission tonight. <laughs> the site that it would be leased to uh, Southmost Aviation would be leased again on a month-to-month -month basis for a total of 12,000 square feet, and the total value per year of that new lease is $21,600. Staff recommends yeah, so damn cool. This is an action item. Would you approve? Second. Motion to approve by Commissioner Camarillo, seconded by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Item number 22, consideration and action to authorize change order number three to the General Aviation Infrastructure Runway 13R and, 13, and 31L Rehabilitation Project. Mr. Brown. Mayor Pro Tem, members of the Commission, this, this is a closeout change order to the project. This project is funded 95% uh, with FAA funds and 5% with PFC funds. There are no city funds involved. Uh, the project constructed two new hangar pad sites at the airport, complete with parking lots, all of the infrastructure to support uh, two new hangars. Is this uh, just the change in design? 
Pardon? Is this just a change in design or? Actually, no. For example, uh, what, well, partly. Uh, what <laughs> took place, for example, the FAA had not determined uh, at the start of construction that they had a cable that ran from the tower over to the airfield during construction. That cable was located uh, and had to be corrected as per FAA standards. The remainder of the issues have to do with uh, utilities. That's water, sewer, and so forth, mm -hmm. and corrections. And bear in mind the fact that this, the airfield itself and the utilities under the ground uh, date way back in time. And so it's common that we find issues like this that we have to address. Okay. Staff recommends approval. There's an action item. So move. We have a motion to approve by Commissioner Longoria, second by Commissioner Hernandez. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Item 23, consideration and action to authorize amendment number 20 and 21 to the general engineering contract with HNTB for taxiway G reconstruction at the Brownsville South Padre Island International Airport. Mayor Pro Tem, members of the commission, this is a proposed amendment to the umbrella contract that we have with HNTB. The amendment would provide for engineering both design as well as uh, construction supervision of a $13 million project designed to reconstruct taxiway G at the airport. We anticipate and we would ask that the City Commission approve this subject to FAA approval of that $13 million grant. We do anticipate and very much look forward to that in the space of about <coughs> a week and a half. Okay, there's an action item. So move. Second. There's subject to FAA approval, a motion made by Commissioner Longoria, second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Make sure I sign in there. <coughs> item 24. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Item 24, sure? consideration <laughs> and action on a long-term lease with the Catholic Diocese of Brownsville for property currently utilized as the Boys and Girls Club of the Brownsville programs. <coughs> Honorable Mayor Pro Tem and City Commissioners, uh, before you is a lease agreement uh, that was, uh, with the uh, Roman Catholic Diocese of Brownsville for the uh, property as we know as the Boys Club. This will be a, a 50 year lease, uh, $1 a year. In the lease agreement, there's the terms and uh, conditions regarding uh, insurance, <coughs> et cetera. Okay. Mayor, I have some questions. Go before. ahead, Commissioner Hernandez. Okay. Um, Mr. Goza, if we agree to the terms of this lease, this property becomes a leasehold improvement of the city of Brownsville for 50 years. Is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. We'd be leasing the, uh, the property and the building that sits on the property. So we basically have control total control of that building for the next 50 years? Uh, to the extent that as a, as a leasee, yes, sir. The uh, diocese will continue to own it. Uh, the city will be responsible for utilities, insurance. Uh, there won't be taxes, but the idea is that the city would uh, physically maintain the building and lease the building from the diocese and help to physically oversee the administration of the Boys and Girls Club, which is operated in there historically. The diocese owns land and the building or just land? Um, the by default, they own both by, by because default, of the fact that it's their property. The, the, we're, okay. we're leasing from the diocese what, what they own uh, okay. and, and, and are gaining by that the ability to, to utilize the building and the property and the facilities there. <clears throat> is, it, is this basically a mere lease of what the Boys Club had with uh, the diocese? Uh, this actual lease format was uh, based on a newer lease agreement that they had used with Ozanam Center. Uh, that was the starting point for this lease, but we extended the term uh, to the 50-year period and changed a few other provisions, but that was... The, the reason I asked, Mr. Goza, it's, it's very important. We started this conversation about a year ago right. with the Boys Club Board that we would uh, <coughs> basically hold uh, or let them continue to have Boys Club activities in, that, in this building. We need to access monies from 4B, Commissioner, and HUD monies that are available for leasehold. That's why I asked you if it was a leasehold <laughs> improvement because this building does need, you know, roofing and other uh, general maintenance right now, and there is money available. So it's really important that we control this building for the next 50 years. That way we can access those monies. I don't want it to, to, from there to be a, all of us are, well, I'm sorry, no, because of, of this particular item A, you can't do this. Well, we have, a separate, we have a separate agreement with the Boys and Girls Club, which their board has approved except for just one minor change, a uh, technical change, and that would allow us to, to step into their shoes essentially and utilize the buildings as they have been uh, to operate the Boys and Girls Club. It's my understanding as well that um, from uh, Representative 4B 
that uh, funding was approved previously for the Boys and Girls Club to make <laughs> improvements on this on these buildings, which um, I believe the city will then step into their shoes and, and presumably be able to to do the same improvements, the same in built to the same buildings only uh, through the city, as opposed to having the funding go directly to the Boys and Girls Club. But Status of Boys Club right now? They do have an active board and a representative. Yes, sir. Uh, Alex Bodetta continues to be their executive director. Michael Bennett is now the director of their board. They met, uh, I believe, last week and considered the agreement that we had proposed at that time uh, for us to, to step in and to start uh, maintaining the buildings and trying to oversee uh, the physical uh, accommodations <coughs> for, for uh, the Boys and Girls Club. Well, I'm proud to have them in Southmost right now at Gonzalez Park, but we would like for them to return to <coughs> to their building and resume activities for yeah. the whole city. Well, I think that uh, this is a collaborative effort. I think some of the commission members spoke to different members uh, of the Boys and Girls Club in an effort to keep them going and to together kind of overcome the difficulties that they've had in operating the programs. So this was a kind of a joint effort really on the part of the diocese who's been very generous to allow us to step in like this and also <coughs> a cooperative effort with Boys and Girls Club uh, as they continue to try to operate the programs but with the city being able to at least maintain the buildings and hopefully with help from the 4B funds. Ben, I, uh, I would like to motion to Hold approve. On. Ben, how soon will we enter into this agreement and actually be able to open up the doors for the boys and girls of this community? Well, this agreement will be presented to the to the diocese uh, and as soon as they sign, we would, we would take uh, participating in those programs in that building immediately. Um, hopefully that would answer your question. I just have one, one uh, correction. And one, one question. I think the real concern is, I think everybody here agrees, that we need to continue, the boys club needs to continue at that location. Exactly. Okay. Especially and, and now that the summertime. Now, summertime, you know, we made a promise a year ago. That was one of the campaign promises I was involved in about this youth I issue. Yeah. And uh, it's taken a year. And we finally got to that point. I want to make sure, that's why I asked you, Mr. Go, that we're covered as far as making the leasehold improvements and fixing the ACs and the roofs and doing the things we have to do and to start the programs as quick as possible. That's correct. And, and this agreement actually uh, goes back to June 1st, um, starting June 1st. So as soon as it's executed, we would be there. Uh, just one uh, correction, uh, Mr. Goza, I think mm -hmm. on, on page two, I think it's a little typo. It's, it says lesser and the payment of utilities should be lessy. So, uh, so we can include that correction. I, I recommend that uh, this agreement be approved. Commissioner I'd like to move to approve this. We have a motion to approve with, with a, along, with those, that along with those Thank corrections. You. With uh, We have a motion to approve along with those corrections by Commissioner Atkinson and second by Commissioner Hernandez. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Ben. Let's make sure that we're able to open up those doors soon to those children. And we'll submit a corrected copy of that those typographical errors to the city secretary. Okay, thank, thank you, Jim. Um, item 25. Item, twi item 25, consideration <coughs> and action to award a contract for ha hangar demolition and asbestos at abatement at the Brownsville South Padre Island International Airport. Honorable Mayor Pro Tem and Commissioners, at the request of our Aviation Director Larry Brown, the Purchasing Department solicited formal bids for this project. Uh, these bids were received and opened on May 19th. We received a total of nine bids for this demolition project. I think Robert has some photos of what we're going to demolish there at the airport. Uh, we submitted the bids to the project consultants for review. And at this time, uh, staff recommends consideration action to award a contract for the hangar demolition and asbestos abatement to at Brownsville South Padre Island International Airport to Alamo One Demolition Inc. of San Antonio. Their base bid was $151,088. Uh, we have nothing remarkable to report regarding this bid process. And the engineer's cost estimate was 277000 so I guess that's the remarkable aspect that we were under by 126. So. Okay, Commissioners, this is an action item. So move. Second. We have a motion to approve by Commissioner Longoria, second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Item, item 26. 26. <coughs> consideration and action to award a contract for the demolition of condemned houses for the Planning and Community Development Department. Mayor Pro Tem and Commissioners, at the request of our Planning and Community Development Director, Mr. Ben Medina, the Purchasing Department solicited bids for this project. These bids were received on May 12th. We received two bids for this particular project. 
Our recommendation to you this evening is consideration and action to award a contract for demolition of 10 condemned houses for Planning and Community Development Department to R. Martinez Hauling, a Brownsville firm, which was the low responsive bidder for the total price of $38,950. This is funded through community block grant funds. Commissioner election item. Move to approve. We have a motion to approve second. by Commissioner Camarillo, second by Commissioner Longoria. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Item 27. Item 27, consideration and action to award a contract for the purchase, delivery, and installation of four vertical one-stage oil lubricated propeller pumps for the Garden Park Stormwater Improvements Project. Mayor Pro Tem and Commissioners, I'm sure you all are familiar with this project. Originally it was bid as one large project and it was way, way, way over budget, so we broke it up into components, refined each of those components, and we have successfully brought the, those individual components back to you under budget. This being one of the last components, it's the actual pump mechanisms, and perhaps Robert can put a graphic up for you. Uh, these are the pumps that will be installed in the soon-to-be-built pump house in this location. We went through the bid process. Bids were received on June 1st. We received a total of two bids, submitted them to the consulting engineer. And our recommendation to you this evening is we award the contract for the purchase and installation of these four vertical one-stage oil lubricated propeller pumps at the Garden Park Stormwater Improvement Project to Balch Machine Company, which is a local concern. The amount is $384,110, <coughs> and we've worked with Balch and Impala pumps and have a successful relationship there. Is this also CDBG? <coughs> this is also funded. <coughs> yeah, it should be. I move to approve, and I'm excited about this, and I'm looking forward to getting rid of all the yeah. water. Yeah. That's that's correct. Second. We have a motion by Commissioner um, Arroyo and a second by Commissioner Camarillo. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? motion carries I just want to add that I know that proper drainage you know is of the utmost importance in this community and I'm delighted to know that the public work department through uh, mr. Carlos Nunez will be constructing the pumping station pumping stations where these pumps will be located right. so it's gonna be a great deal for everyone they have good experience with that they built the <coughs> pump house at Impala and it's been very successful yeah thank you very much item 28 item 28 consideration and action to award a contract for the 31st year community development block grant street paving and drainage improvements project for west 10th street and west 17th street mayor pro tem commissioners again at the request of our planning and community development director ben medina and our engineering director carlos lastra the purchasing department solicited formal seal bids for this project these bids were received and opened on May 30th. A total of three bids were received and tabulated by the project consulting engineer, James Rose of Mejia and Rose. Our recommendation to you this evening is consideration and action to award a contract for 31st year CDBG street paving and drainage improvements project for West 10th Street, West 17th Street to GT Paving, Brownsville, Texas. Low responsive bidder, the amount is $366,569.50. <coughs> Move Action to approve. We have a uh, motion to approve by Commissioner Camarillo. I'll second. Second by Commissioner Atkinson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Um, Mr. Calapa, I just want to thank the Purchasing Department and the City Secretary's Office. I know they work diligently to expedite this, this project, and once these streets are done, it's going to greatly improve the neighborhood. So thank you guys very much. Our pleasure. Greatly needed. Item 29. <laughs> Item 29, consideration and action to award a contract for the 31st year CDBG street, street Paving and Drainage Improvements Project for Daisy Drive, Xenia Street, and Gardenia Street. Honorable Mayor Pro Tem and Commissioners, again at the request of our Planning and Community Development Director Ben Medina and Engineering Director Carlos, Carlos Lastro, the Purchasing Department solicited formal seal bids for this project. These <coughs> bids were received on May 30th. A total of three bids were received and tabulated by the project's consulting engineer, Alfredo G. Hernandez, who's here with us this evening, I believe. Uh, our recommendation is uh, s that we have st uh, City Commission consideration and action to award a contract for 31st year CDBG street paving and drainage improvement projects for <coughs> Daisy Drive, Xenia Street, Gardenia Street to R&R Paving of San Benito, the low responsive bidder. The amount there is $827,384.50. Action item. Mayor Pro Tem, before we approve this, I'd like to make a statement to the people of our community, as, and pretending that these are streets in Southmost, por favor que nos tengan paciencia en la construcción de las calles. Ahorita con el precio de petróleo, 
está muy difícil para comprar el asfalto y cuando se está construyendo un expressway al mismo tiempo en nuestra ciudad, es muy difícil que la ciudad pueda comprar el asfalto porque muchas veces le dan prioridad a ese contrato que se está haciendo en el expressway y eso es un problema con el que estamos batallando, es, comenzamos a componer calles y al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? el asfalto sube, el precio del asfalto sale fuera de, de lo que tenemos en, pro, en presupuesto y es difícil para comprar el asfalto y por eso muchas veces se detienen ciertos proyectos. Ahora, en muchas calles que se están componiendo de nuestra ciudad, también son calles viejas, tienen tubería vieja, necesitan que entrar los ingenieros, necesitan que entrar los contratistas para componer la tubería en esas calles y por eso muchas veces se detiene el proyecto. No son excusas que hacemos por parte de la ciudad, sino que simplemente son cosas que se tienen que hacer, que se tienen que preparar y les pedimos al mismo tiempo un poco de paciencia y a su debido tiempo va a llegar todo y se van a cumplir estas calles que estamos programando. Commissioner, and talking with the city staff, I understand that they've said that these streets um, haven't been worked on in the last 15 years. So I want to appreciate, you know, I appreciate city staff for identifying these streets and, and helping provide for their reconstruction. Mr. Longoria, can you uh, repeat that in English? Maybe sure, 50 years. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? 50, 50 years, maybe never. Maybe Might never, yeah. Well, they told me 15. Oh, maybe it was 50. Maybe I misheard, I didn't hear them right. Do we have a motion, Commissioner Longoria? That's a motion to approve. Second. We have a second by Commissioner Camarillo. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Item 30. Item 30, consideration and action to award a contract for the lease purchase of two trucks and a contract for rent to own of two trailers mm -hmm. for the Public Works Department. Pretty good, right? Mayor Pro Temp, Commissioners, we've been working on this project for a long time. Oh, Ivan's maybe. going to uh, give you the rundown on it. He's our fleet administrator. Mr. Welk. Welcome. Good evening. The, 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 uh, the, 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 this particular item is an important item in that it links to what we've been talking to about the improvement in our target areas. So before you is our two lease purchase options to purchase two large trucks and two large trailers that will enable the city of Brownsville to get into the target areas and, and pave and reconstruct as we've been talking about contracting out. We were able to do this in-house in most of the most of the areas so before you are two or as a single agenda <coughs> item for two specific lease purchases one for two large trucks and one for two live bottom trailers and these trailers are configured to work in the downtown areas where the alleys are uh, are very narrow the the cost for these will be spread over three months and they will be funded ultimately through the CDBG target program via the city's capital fund. Now the good thing at the end of the three year uh, period is that we'll own the trucks and the trailers. Will this equipment be only used through for CDBG eligible? Only target projects? areas. Okay. That's this is an action item. So move. Second. I've got a motion to approve by Commissioner Longoria, second by Commissioner Arroyo. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Mm. Motion carries. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Walker. Do we have any uh, public comment? Stella? Yes, sir. Okay. 659, this meeting is adjourned.